and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Now today we are going to go through a few hourglass products I have and a couple of new ones. So it's like a full face of hourglass, my bougie face, using some first impressions and some old favourites. So let's get going. Right then, let's get going. I've already put my skincare on today, whack off those glasses, and um, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I've already put my skincare on, like I said, is the Mineral Primer Oil Free Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Veil Primer. There we go. I've used half of this already. I've had it quite a while. It's one of those primers I don't pick up because I'm thinking, God, it was so expensive. But I'm going to use it. And it's going in my shop, my stash, March, which is a video coming up. So I'm going to use three pumps of that. And what I normally do is rub it into my hands and pat it all over my face. And it makes your face feel delightful. Absolutely delightful. Um, I'll put a bit on my neck. It just sinks right in. It just feels how rude. It just feels absolutely delightful mm. and it does get rid of a lot of your redness i do find so there we go that is on there and the next thing i'm going to use is the hourglass oh fingerprints on it there you go it's not the new foundation i want to use this one up first i've got it in the shade buff and it is the normal hourglass hourglass twist up foundation as you can see i have used quite a bit of it got it in the shade buff and with it i'm going to use i also bought the hourglass foundations brush which is very nice it's just very small it takes you a while so i'm just going to put this on all over the face Whoop. now i haven't got any foundation uh, not foundation i haven't got any concealer so we're just going to draw that around do you know i love sticks to just draw around your face very satisfying just to draw it all round your face. <laughs> I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> so this is the stick that came out, oh, what, a couple of years ago now. And I'm just going to buff that in my face. And I like this brush, although it takes a while um, to buff in. Um, I do like it because it does buff in very nicely, um, the foundation. And it's very soft it's just very small so doing this uh, on a day-to-day -day would take me forever but it does buff in mm. can't talk while it's going over my face but it does buff it in really nicely i'll just finish this off and there you go it does it covers nicely it's similar yeah, yeah similar shade to me but they are more yellow i've found um, and, a, and a few of the other YouTubers have said that it's more of a yellow undertone and I'm more of a pink undertone and I have put it under my eyes as a concealer and it's not too bad um, it needs lightening a little bit but I have not got any concealer for uh, hourglass so what I'm going to go in now is with the amb ambient light dim light blah, 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 powder there we go with a squashy brush like this and I'm just going to tap that and put it along my eyes just to give me a little bit as you can see look it just lightens it up a little bit under my eyes there now it is a shimmery powder which isn't altogether the best thing to put on your under eyes but as you can see it just lightens that little area up and down my nose a little bit but I have actually got a new product that I've not tried. I only got the baby version, which is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I was quite excited to get this because this foundation, as you can see, sets in my talking lines, my smile lines, which is not good. Now, this is only a tiny one. The big one comes with a posh inner. This comes with a plastic one. The big one, if you've seen, is um, a domed uh, golden inner. But I wanted to try the powder because my favourite one is Urban Decay's... There we go. Urban Decay's Velvetizer. So we're going to just tap that in. 
the pot like so. Come on, out you come. And get my big brush and pop it in and just buff that and pat that into my face. Hmm. Do you know what? That actually takes out some of the yellow. Bear with me while I tap more out. Hmm. That actually takes away some of the yellow and then gives it a better colour. I do like tap more out. I do like that. I like that indeed. Let me have a closer look. I like that. That's with no concealer on as well. To set it as normal, I'm going to use the Mario Badescu. Woo! Just to set it into my face. That's quite nice. I like that powder. It's only a little tub, like I said, um, but it was worth it for me to try. And I got it from Harvey Nichols, and you have to pay postage and things from them as well, even though they are in England. But never mind. So let's carry on. Now, other than the ambulant, ambient light, dim light, I have also got a, con a bronzer, which is nude bronze light. And I've also got... And it came, it came smashed in the corner. But I also got mood exposure in the ambient uh, blush. Now I'm going to put the ambient brush on first using the Real Techniques. No, the It Cosmetics brush. And I do like this. It's a gorgeous colour. And even though it looks dark, you can plaster it on. And there isn't a lot there, you see. You can build it up. But you don't need to worry about putting too much on, even though it's as dark as it is. Because it's ambient light. It just flushes up those cheeks a little. I like. Now we'll go into the bronzing, which again, I'm, I'm using the it, Con, it Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Massive Brush. Now the reason I use this is because I put too much of this on normally. And we're going to concentrate it in there. As a contour and just bash some on the nose and under the nose just to try and give that a bit of a contour a rough contour and then we'll tap some in around the head chops and then just blend all this in so it goes in nicely and looks more natural but I do like this. Hourglass is more of a natural face anyway. But um, I concentrate it onto the contour bit there, look, and it works a lot. And there we go. Well, my hair's going nice and fluffy. But I do like that. Like so. All right. I am going to go back in with my hourglass dim light powder. Where are you? With my brush I use for... Highlight, and we're just going to use that to just highlight the top of the cheeks. But it's not going to highlight it in effect that you're going to have bright highlight shiny cheeks. But it's just going to give you that dim light. So you know you've got a little bit. It does give you some. Just like that. Just a few highlighted points of your face. And it's very natural, very nice. I love it. Now I have... An, got haven't got any um eyeshadows they all seem a bit boring to me there's none that really stand out to me as a palette i would really want to grab hold of but i have got at last the hourglass oh, i've been waiting for this to come i just love the packaging voila and it is the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara obviously there it is, beautiful, just like the foundation in the sticks. I was meaning to get one of the stick highlighters, but I think a natural face. And it does glow quite nicely. So I've got this. So around my eyes, I was just going to grab a fluffy brush and grab some of that blush and just pop that 
around my eyes and just to give you a nice pinky um, dusting on the eyes just to give the eyes something but you've not got a lot and it's more of a natural face anyway just to put something around the eyes and to be honest some of the um, eyeshadows from Hourglass look like their blushes and whatnot anyway and we can just put a bit of that and a bit of the bronzer Woo! he fell off and a bit of the bronzer into the outer corner just to give it that you've got something on your eyes but nothing too eggs you know, bright <laughs> which is a bit unusual for me i know that but just a little something on the eyes and under the eyes and also with my watery eyes putting something around my eyes like this just stops them from watering everywhere there's nothing on there much at all anywho but i just thought i'd do that just to make sure my eyes don't look how can i put it so they don't run because there's nothing powdery around them now there's two other products i've got which is the hourglass obviously the mascara and the hourglass arch warm blonde i don't know if you can see that eyebrow pencil with the spoolie light blonde seems a bit um dark for me but i shall show you how this goes on and we'll just pop this on you've got to be very careful with this because it like I said, it's light blonde, but it can very quickly go into dark brown. It's very, very pigmented. And you've got to be extremely careful. It also tends to want to wander around your face as well. But uh, as you can see, it goes on. And the other side. And there we go. Not the best eyebrows in the world. They just were not playing today as they normally don't. <laughs> but as you can see, um, they it's a nice colour. Light blonde. I was expecting it to be a lot lighter. But for my two-toned hair at the moment, it's, it's not bad. So, on we go with the testing of this. Now, obviously, I'm late to the game with this Caution Mascara. Here goes. Here is the wand. doesn't smell anything nasty so let's see what this is like and you'll be able to see if I can get my hair out of the way exactly what it's like because I have no bright eyeshadow on for a change so let's just put on one coat and this is no primer no nothing just my eyelashes being coated with the hourglass mascara and look at that look at that oh my god Ooh. let's put on some more this is just one coat Wow. Now I haven't put any extra on. I'll put some extra on for the under lashes. But I am liking this mascara. Look at my top lashes. And I haven't even got the second coat on yet. I am amazed. Uh, I am shocked. You know my favourite is the Gifted from Tarte. If you've been around on this channel, you know my favourite is Gifted from Tarte. Um, because it's got a dry formula and lifts my lashes. This is with no primer and no curling of my lashes and look Kazzy has lashes Kazzy has lashes look at them <laughs> I like this I like this a lot um I, I I'm speechless speechless Speechless. I am. 
now i will when i edit this video uh obviously it'll be later on i will tell you if this uh other new pro i can't stop him looking at my lashes Lily. um if this product is as good and as waterproof on us greasy girls uh, so far it looks flawless and i love it absolutely love it it's creasing on my under eyes hmm wonder if i should try that on my under eyes rather than the ambient light let's have a look we'll get a wipe and we'll just pat away the thick dim light from underneath my eyes because that probably is making it crease oh don't i look delightful looks like i've been crying right and we'll just pop on where's my foundation brush a bit more of the foundation underneath without upsetting my mascara because mascara looking that good i do not want to upset it <laughs> no way not now that's less creasy and then we'll go in with we'll give it a good slapping sorry if that's so loud but this powder haha <laughs> is um, a bit ridiculous to get out where's my powder brush and we'll just pop a bit on the edge and pat that under my eyes very carefully there we are Very difficult with a big brush. I should have got really a smaller brush, shouldn't I? Ah, there's a lot in the brush. Let's put it that way. Right, set that quickly, quick. That's better. Look at the brightness under my eyes. So that dim light's good for putting on um, like a dim light. As you can see, look, it just catches that but don't put it under your eye look that's loads better look at my skin anyway Mario Badescu and the Morphe setting spray come on where are you this thing moves around Woo! and a bit of fan brilliant look at that how bright my under eyes are what I will do is just grab my... I can't find anything now. Everything's gone. Ah, where are you? Blush, brush. Put a bit of more blush back into my cheeks. Because I uh, put a bit of powder on top of it. There we go. And there you are. There is me playing with some old favorites and some new favorites of hourglass and i love the mascara i love the brows it's just me i can't put them on at the moment i i just mm, cannot put my brows on properly but the color and uh, the application and the actual pencil is brilliant i haven't got any lip products so we'll just grab the book some lip gloss seeing as we're going for a natural face today Sorted. Natural Kaz. You don't see very many natural Kazes, I tell you now. But there you go. Wow, I do like this. Thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.